Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Um, but fortunately, there was a guy by the name of Neil, um, Neil Shine. He was the managing editor of the Free Press. And Neil, he went out to Felman. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, the, um, there's a race in Felman, the 7.1 mile race, pretty famous race. And anyway, he went out there, observed the race, saw how much fun everybody was having, came back here and said, all right, we want a big marathon in Detroit. Well, I, I'm a walk this race, so uh, I, I, I think I can handle that. One. I don't want to start off running and have to stop. I'm gonna keep a steady pace all the way through. But I'm excited about this. This is great. This is fantastic for the city, uh, and this is fantastic. Well, congratulations and thank you for contributing to the city this way. All right. You two are walking the 5K or running the 5K or something, right? Some combination thereof. Yeah. We may start off with a really big run, but then we're going to start walking hard. Okay. Yeah. You've been training for it this year? Oh, yeah. All year. Baggage. Have you been training, too? Oh, of course. I've just been training extremely hard. Doing a lot of carbs the whole time. Yeah, we ran the... We did run the 5K at Mac. But I tell you, this is just a beautiful setting, isn't it, Jenny? I just feel so good about this. Here in Detroit with uh, Comerica Park and finishing in Ford Field. It's really going to spot like Detroit and uh, the bloggers as well. Today, we will rock you for 26.2 miles. From my heart and with all that I have, you are extraordinary. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, why so bright?
aim is to go there. I'll do my best. We're here with the winner of the wheelchair marathon. He's one of the world's top wheelchair marathoners. Can you tell us how the race went for you today? Um, hi, my name is Krieger. I'm uh, last name Scarborough. I'm from uh, South Africa and I live in Seattle, Georgia, very near to Atlanta. Um, I've been here in 98 and 99 and won this race twice then and I came back here today again and I won it again. It was actually a, a nicer race than the 98 and 99. It was tough then, but it wasn't good weather today. We had real nice weather, so I'm very happy with the weather. <laughs> and uh, it's a nice finish as well in this fantastic stadium. We're glad to have you come here. It really elevates the status of our wheelchair races. <laughs> to go out and I wanted to pace well and run a good race and I ultimately if, if I get to the end and I feel that I've given it my all mentally and physically then I'm then I'm happy and I definitely don't have anything left. Now you ran this race last year is that correct? Yes I did and I, uh, I came in came in second so I was hoping uh, hoping this year to take the lead. But, um, I thought it was way it was definitely more interesting it was great to go over the bridge I have to say uh, I enjoyed going over the bridge in the car much more but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just the last leg of our team, so. How many people on your team? Five. Five medals for you. How'd you Thanks. run? Um, I took my miles, so I think I was just under five minute pace, so it wasn't great, but I was having a lot of fun. I mean, I was hoping to run a little bit faster. I think, I think uh, we we're going shooting for the team record, team course record. I think we got it, but uh, yeah, yeah. I consider myself a Michigan, a Michigan person. My legs were just didn't have it today. I ran a marathon two weeks ago in 246 and qualified for my sixth Olympic trials, which was just I was I, I just can't even explain what that meant to me and how. Very strong finish, David Chase and Windsor. Steve. 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 This is my 25th. And, uh, had you I'm sure Doug Curtis is one who lays it out, but he does just a great job. He's a runner. He knows runners. He knows what runners want, and he puts as much as it as he can in the course. We're here with marathon finisher Bonnie Hum. Bonnie, how did the race go for you today? Well, it went great. The weather was terrific. It was the last stretch on Lafayette was a little tough. And it was very blustery, very windy, and that last little downhill stretch into the stadium, I thought I was going to lose it.